Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command MC 66 Day Challenge 2.0, and today is day 24. So congratulations, your recruit has finally become an associate. Mm, almost. Today we're going to cover when the associate finally fills out all of the paperwork and is loaded into your associate applet, steps to take to go ahead and activate them so they begin to show on your roster and can get access to all things and you can start working with them as an actual agent in your market center. So on the screen here you see the associate card for our fake recruit who has become an associate now, Marge Simpson. This is what the screen is going to look like prior to you activating them as an agent. This is sort of the last step in order to make sure they show up on your roster and you get credit for your gross and net the activate agent button you can do this one of two ways so you can see it's up here at the top right hand corner activate agent you can also find it underneath the roles section. So if i click on roles edit i can choose to activate the agent here either way it's going to lead to the same next screen which is our ability to put in the license number for this recruit that has now become an associate we're going to choose the state Make sure that they are correctly licensed. When does that license expire? Let's say they just got licensed. That's going to be good for two years. And if for any reason they're licensed in a separate state, you can choose to add another license. So if they're duly licensed or triply licensed or whatever it may be, you can add additional licenses here. Next up, you're going to add in their company dollar split. This is what goes to the agent. So whether that's 70, 30, 80, 20, whatever that is that you've negotiated with them, that's what you would put in as the company dollar split percentage. Next up, you've got the company dollar cap. So what is their cap for their first year? And then you can see you also have the next period company dollar cap. So when does their cap renew? When it renews, what's their cap then? So let's just say this is going to be 18,000 and it's also going to be 18,000 upon renewal. When is their company dollar anniversary date? So they signed in July. That means that they are going to reset every August. So uh, once we go through this process, we get in their license number, state province, expiration date, their company dollar split and cap amount, and when their anniversary date is, we can click on activate agent. And it looks like that license number. All right, this is what happens when you put in fake license number. So we'll just do it backwards and see if that works here we could activate the agent and you can see that Marge Simpson has been converted to agent, right? So now you actually get the plus one in your records for gross agent gain and hopefully net agent gain as well. I can save this. That's gonna close out of that box. If for any reason we need to edit that role, we can always come in to edit and then we can change that role down here at the bottom as well. So you can see the different opportunities to change that uh, role for you. Um, in addition, when it comes to now managing or editing any additional information, there's a really good answers article that I'm going to share with you now that basically talks to you about who can change what. So this is in leadershipanswers.kw.com. If you just search for edit and manage associates, you'll get this article. Uh, the reason I'm kind of sharing this article with you is it's a lot of information to share as far as who can edit what. So there's essentially three tiers of access. Um, you can see what regional roles and market center roles, who has access to what. So in the regional role, the ROP, RD, RMCA, and ROM have full tier one access. And at the market center level, that's gonna be your OP, TL, MCA, ATL, and AMCA. Then you've got tier two, uh, no regional roles there, but there are some market center roles there for MC broker, general manager, market center leader, and PC. And then you've got tier three, the market center roles for both RTT, MC investor, tech coordinator, MCTT, and compliance coordinator. As you scroll through this article, it's gonna to talk to you about all of the different places that you can edit information in an associate card. And you can see there's 12 or more spots it will walk you through who can edit what. So for example, status management can only be edited by tier one and then walk you through the different things that you can do. Contact information can only be edited by tier one and two. Roles, right? And so you can kind of see each one of those additional sections, who can make the edits, 
who has access, and essentially who can fill in what. So a great breakdown of all of the different places inside the associate card, each one of these items in this article that are kind of circled or squared out, those are all clickable and editable inside of our associate card. We can see that here in Marge Simpson's record. Not only do I have the four boxes on the left-hand side, but then there are boxes underneath each one of these seven tabs across the top as well. And each one of those tabs has editable sections as well. So a whole lot of information that can be edited about an associate depending on your role. So if you're watching this video and you're saying, I, I can't edit that, I keep getting an error, it may be because of your permission level. So you may need to either ask someone with a higher permission level or request a permission level higher than the one that you have now if you do need access to make edits and have been approved by your OP, RD, ROM, whoever that might be. So that's it for today. Congratulations, guys. Your recruit is now officially an active agent and associate in your market center. We're going to keep moving forward with the associates applet tomorrow. We're going to talk about setting some additional roles uh, and then what happens when someone leaves your market center. So we're going to walk through that process as well. So stay tuned for that. As always, it's fantastic talking to you and I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.